design. Eight, That's right. Seven, six, yeah, they're hoping five, to get a lot more engagement four, with this profile three, of the meter bar. You can see two, those kind of beveled one, edges on it. That's going to allow them to get those fight. teeth under their opponent and hopefully get some big throws is what they're looking for. Big Hunter is launching their opponents up into the air and into the side of the box. Hunter Ooh. is taking uh, taking the fight straight to Tiefschlag, which has not yet moved out of the blue square. Popping that robot in the air. Hunter wow. is just such a precise driver. I mean, every single time you see Tiefschlag oh. land, Hunter is right there on top of him, ready to lay out another hit. Oh! And you can see what looks to be an orange belt there on the ground. I think that might be the belt from Tiefschlag's main weapon, which is down. Yeah, probably ripped off by one of those teeth on Judge's Dream's weapon. And there you see that side armor damage on Tiefschlag. I mean, this is a pure dismantling from Judge's Dream. Piece by piece, ripping chunk yeah. after chunk. With two minutes left in this fight, you gotta wonder what could he even do at this point. The drive's still working. Team has got that going for him, but that is not a huge help when Judge's Dream's very scary weapon is still right. fully functional. Judge's Dream just so much uh, better apt to control and, uh, and be aggressive in this situation. Wow, you can see Team Slog's weapon kind of got stuck. 90 seconds left in this match. Oh, there goes the full piece of side armor there on Tiefschlag, fully exposing that wheel on the right-hand side of the robot. And Judge's Dream powered down its weapon. We're not exactly sure why. That happened pretty abruptly, though. And it looks like we might be down to a pushing match for the last minute of this fight. This might be our very first fight of the day that goes to the judges. And the drive on Tiefschlag is pretty sluggish. Yeah. 45 seconds left here. Really, it looks like Hunter uh, just needs to stay alive. Oh, there we go. go. To the uh, to go to the judges. A little quick do -si -do. decision. Hey. That's an interesting fact. Judge's Dream actually goes to a judge's decision in its fights here at Norwalk about 50% of the time. Now, it looks like Hunter has uh, snagged the, uh, the, the weapon guard inside of the, the inside of Tiefschlag's main weapon with 10 seconds left here. Seven, Seven. six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the match. And this one will go to the judges. Everyone make your way to the door if you can, and we're going to go ahead and check in with our judges for the first time today. This calls for a judge's decision. All right. Let's see uh, Hunter putting the safety back on. Hey, how you guys doing? Oh my gosh, it's my three favorite people, Kyle. <laughs> All right, maybe we can go left to right, starting with you, uh, Jack. You know, can you introduce yourself? Tell us, uh, you know, where you're from and what robot you're best known for. Yeah, I'm probably best known for either Ragnarok or Vanquish, aka the robot Kit Kat equivalent. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, hopefully Vanguard next season. All going well. Very cool. And dialing in from the UK. I love it. All right, Don, uh, tell us, uh, what robot are you known for? I think I, I, I heard it's a kind of a small robot. Is that right? Yeah, it's not all that well known. Uh, it's a little robot called Huge. Huge! Oh, OK. All right, and Andrew, uh, you're wearing the hat, so you've already given it away. But uh, tell, us, uh, tell us, where are you dialing in from today? And what robot are you best known for? Yeah, so I'm dialing in from California. I'm known for the robot known as Malice. Just kidding. Uh, part of Team Overboard and Deep Six. All right. Now, judges, uh, we saw a pretty uh, pretty one-sided match here, but uh, maybe we can go very quickly. Uh, Jack, Don, Andrew, your thoughts on this fight? Uh, definitely has to go to Judges' Dream. They did all of the damage, and once it came down to a pushing match, there was no real dominance and over control from T-Schlug, so it's got to be Judge's Dream for me. 
All right, yep. one vote for Judge's Dream. Don, your thoughts? Yeah, this is probably the toughest match we got judged all day, but uh, Judge's Dream. <laughs> all right, and you, Andrew? Yeah, we're going uh, Judge's Dream all the way on this one here. Uh, yeah, pretty one-sided fight. Unanimous judge's decision for judge's dream. Round of applause for Hunter Yankaskis, who advances. Okay, All right. Thank on you, our two cage one, uh, we've got Bone Collector versus Quarantine. Um, Bone Collector, as, as you will recall, back in July had that dominant mini bot. Yeah. Let's see if the uh, the mini bot is uh, is also going to be kind of the deciding factor in this fight. Quarantine, very interesting uh, egg beater spinner. Hey, we see that tiny little bot right there beside him. It's just, it's such a low profile, designed to high center its opponent. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots fight. Good speed right out of the box from Quarantine. Ooh, looks like uh, it looks like some, some weapon troubles on Quarantine. Yeah, Quarantine yeah. Speeder is not getting up to any kind of a speed at all. Bone Collector was able to get up to speed, but then they got jammed up against the wall. It doesn't look like that weapon's working right now. And uh, Bone Collector's Minibot facing the wrong way with that wedge. Not going to be able to do a whole lot with that. I think, yeah, it's, oh, that's right. It looks like Quarantine's belt might be too tight. Is that is that why it kind of kind of looks twitch? like? It. Yeah, that might be the issue there. It is not moving at all. Quarantine. Now that is a good coordinated pin from Bone Collector, and that's really what 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 we've come to to expect from this team. Um, both the robot and the the mini bat working together to pin their opponent up against the rails, and there is just nothing that Quarantine can do here because its weapon is just not up to speed. Yeah, and it's just. Really impressive to see how well they use that mini bot rule, the multi bot rule for this weight class. Um, to their advantage, you hardly ever see any friendly fire with this bot. You hardly ever see any just bad coordination or bad driving. That mini bot perfectly complements Bone Collector in every aspect of this fight. Right now, Bone Collector's weapon is not working, so both bots have kind of turned into pin bots. Right, it's another good pin. Wow, this is pin after pin in this yep. match. And they add up. There's at, at a certain point, there's just there's no coming back unless you're able to fire that weapon up. Yeah, now 90 seconds down in this match, and uh, and quarantine looks like it, it might be stuck. I wonder if it's a perhaps a drive issue there. But uh, quarantine is not looking as mobile as that builder yeah. would like it to be. No, not at all. Be some and of, there we oh, go. There we That's go. as expected. A tap out from Quarantine Bone Collector is your winner of that 